Welcome back to the shop. This week I'm just out goofing around and I took a bunch of scraps and I made this pen. Let me show you how I did it. Here are the materials I've given myself to work with for this pen. I have some Coca-Cola cutoffs from some past pens. I've got a really nice little piece of maple. I've got some debit and gift cards that have been used. And I've got a couple of 7mm pen tubes. I found the center of my blank and then I backed off 1 16th of an inch because the kerf of my table saw blade is an eighth of an inch. I have installed this blank in my small stock joining jig. The edge of the jig is zero clearance to the blade, so the line that I've scribed on the blank lines up precisely with the edge of the jig. When I run this through the table saw, I should get two equally sized halves of this blank. Here is my blank right off of the table saw. I drew a couple of lines so that I wouldn't accidentally glue it up incorrectly. If you take a look at the thickness of the two blanks, you'll see that they are exactly the same thickness. The next step in the process is I need to cut a section out of my gift card the same thickness as the blanks. I want to get everything glued up. I'm just going to use a little stick fast medium viscosity CA glue and I'm going to use some accelerator to speed the process. We'll split the blanks and we'll layer them in CA. We'll place our gift card between the two blanks and I'll kind of smear it around a little bit to get things spread out good. Place the second blank on top of the first. We're going to get a clamp, clamp them together, and we'll hit them with some accelerator. And that should be all it takes. The edge of my jig is perfectly parallel with the blade of my saw. I've taken a speed square and put a 45 degree angle mark on the jig. Now what I want to do is line my blank up so that the front corner of the blank is just past the edge of the jig. That way I can get a nice 45 degree angle on my blank. Once it's lined up, I'm going to go ahead and clamp it down. I have the 45 degree angle cut on my blank. Now what I want to do is flip it over and I want to cut the same angle on the opposite side of the blank in the opposite direction to form a trapezoid. Since I will be attaching a piece of coca bolo to both ends of the blank, I want to make sure that my brass tube extends a little bit past the widest part of the blank. That will allow it to extend into the coca bolo. So I'm going to flip the blank around. I'm going to let it extend about a quarter of an inch on this end. And I'm going to go back and mark about a quarter of an inch on this end of the blank. And then I'll cut my diagonal this way to give me that trapezoid. I ended up with more of a triangle than a trapezoid, but that's okay. I should have plenty of room for the coca bolo on either end of the blank. Now let's get our coca bolo cut at a 45 degree angle and get it glued to either end of this blank. I repeated the same steps that I did with the maple blank on the two coca bolo blanks and now each of them has a nice 45 degree angle cut on them. Now what I need to do is take my gift card and get a couple of pieces cut to glue between each of the segments. Alright, let's get everything glued up.
I've cleaned up three sides of my blank. Not worried about the fourth side yet. Um, but what I think I'm going to do now is I've got my tube extending past the blank. I think I'm going to come in and just past the edge where this particular piece of wood intersects the coca bolo. I'm going to cut a 90 degree angle and just cut those right off. Now that I've got the two ends cut off, I'm going to take a little bit of my gift card and glue them back on. I have my blank finished. It's ready to be drilled and turned. So we're going to lay it aside. I had this extra piece of coca bolo and what was left of the maple blank. So I went ahead and cut a 45 on that and I'm going to glue the two together. And this will be the top section of my pen. And I'll also go ahead and put a little bit of this gift card between it. I finished up my blanks. They look pretty good. This will be the bottom of the pen. The nib will be down here. Of course, your center band there and then your cap up here. Um, the line is carried through at the top, just like it is through the middle of the blank. I'm going to go ahead and get them drilled out, get the tubes glued in, and we're ready to start turning. I've got my blanks drilled out. I'm really happy with how the back blank turned out because the gift card runs right along the tube, so it should be fairly well centered on the back of the pen. I'm a little upset with the front half because as I started out, my bit veered a tiny bit, and you can see that I'm going to be off toward the front of the pen. I'm not going to let that detour me. I'm going to go ahead and finish the pen. Uh, it may look a little odd that it goes at an angle, but I think as that thins down, you know, with a slim line, it may not be as noticeable uh, as, as I think. So let's go ahead and press on and see what happens. While barrel trimming, the back half of the blank came out absolutely perfect. The front half of the blank, because the pieces of Coca Bola were so small, both ends actually split and exploded off the blank. So what I think I'm going to do is um, attempt to uh, glue something else on there. I don't know if I'll go back with Coca Bolo or maybe I'll try a little piece of maple. I have some of that left over, but I'm going to try to uh, attach something, you know, to the ends of the blank to get it uh, to get it back to the proper length. Persistence has paid off. Um, I had a little piece of the maple left that already had the gift card in it, and I glued a small piece on this end. I was able to barrel trim it, a small piece on this end, and got it barrel trimmed nice and flat. Um, this end is a tiny bit thinner than this end, so I'm going to make that the center of the pin by the band, and the nib will get a little bit thicker end. We're all chucked up and ready to go. Two words to remember. Light cuts. You can really start to see these blanks taking shape. It's always fun to take a segmented blank because they're so ugly when you start and watch them just sort of become what they're going to be. This is very cool. I'm loving what I'm seeing here gonna make a killer pin. I could not be any happier with how this pin is turning out. I'm just I'm absolutely blown away at how a few pen scraps and a old gift card could turn into something so beautiful. I'm gonna get this sanded up get some finish put on it, press it into a kit, and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Here is my finished pin. I think it looks fantastic. The contrast between the Coca Bolo and the Maple is just amazing. I love how the gift card divides the blanks up. It's just that, that white just makes everything pop. The only issue I have is right here. I remember telling you earlier that when I drilled out the front blank, I had some drift in my drill bit and I ended up drilling crooked Oh man, I'm so, I feel so bad that I did that because this blank would have looked absolutely stellar. In the future, I think I'm going to start trying to drill these out on my lathe. I uh, believe I might be able to track a little truer. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. 
or a question, I'll be glad to answer them and get back to you. If you really like this video, do me the honor of sharing it on your social media. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'm inviting you to go ahead and subscribe now. That way, all future videos that I release will be delivered directly to your YouTube feed. Have a great evening, and remember, you are always welcome in my shop.